it's been heavily requested, so here is the review of the KLM Queen of the Skies. And with that, welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at a Boeing 747-400 of Dodge Carrier KLM. At the front of the box we have the cutout, so we can get a glimpse of the aircraft inside, and on top of the box you have the KLM branding. As this is a 2019 release, the only thing of interest we have on the back side of the box is an image of the actual aircraft in real life. And here she is, the Boeing 747-400 in the current livery of KLM. And now with no further ado, let's take a closer look at some of the many details this aircraft model has to offer. At the tail section we find the iconic KLM branding on the vertical stabilizer. On the fuselage we then have the full registration code of the aircraft, the flag of the Netherlands, the flag of the European Union, the aircraft type specification and of course the historic slogan the Flying Dutchman. At the front of the aircraft we once again find the KLM Royal Dutch Airlines branding. We also have the Sky Team logo of which KLM is a member. Underneath that we have the name of the aircraft, in this case the aircraft is named after the Kenyan capital Nairobi. At the very front, around the cockpit, we also have some nice detailing. We, for example, have the window wipers printed on above the cockpit windows. We then also find the last two letters of the registration code and the emergency hatch for the cockpit. The engine nacelles have been kept in all white, but do carry the very nice looking KLM branding. And the nacelles themselves are also quite decently detailed. Here we can see them from the back side. And of course, if you look into the engines, we also have a very nice view on the engine fan blades. Now we should of course also take a little bit of time and take a look at the wings. Here we can see on the top side we have all the different flap slats and spoilers carved out, although I think that could be a little bit more detailed. We have a little bit of different shadings of grey, but also here we could have a few markings here and there. The underside looks pretty decent where we also find the full registration code of the aircraft once again. And as this is a Boeing 747-400, this aircraft of course has winglets and they do look very nice, again with the KL branding. Of course we should also take a look at the landing gear. Here we can see the main landing gear underneath the wings. That is a little bit unusual for HEPA, actually made out of metal. All other aircraft models from HEPA Wings in scale 1 to 500 have landing gear made out of plastic, but with the 747-400 series they have made them out of metal. Here we can also see the front landing gear, which I think also looks rather decent. And then last but not least we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here on the back side of the aircraft and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 747-400 in the current livery of KLM Royal Dutch Airlines. And what can we say about this aircraft model? Well, the print quality of the aircraft model is excellent. I couldn't find a single fault or a detail that I didn't like. Of course, we could always have more details printed on, but it is a standard model from Happy Wings, and for that it is pretty all right. The physical details on the aircraft are also great. I think the landing gear especially is really nice. And of course, the winglets are always a favorite of mine. And it is of course the queen of the skies, the iconic jumbo jet. So I would say it is definitely worth having in one's collection. Now with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then smash the like button. That really helps us out. If you're new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. And with that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.